Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Leon with No More Lines. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment, and watch the video to the very end. So in this video, I'm going to share my experience and the outcome of me purchasing a random Xbox key for the United States. So this is basically like one of the Steam random keys. For those unfamiliar, it's like a loot box where you basically will, that's a promise or a, uh, a potential luck to get something good something more valuable than the box itself you know people you know how they'll say that oh well if you buy this loot box it may come with an iPad or it may come with something like that it's the same type of thing but it's with digital products G2A sells a number of digital products including game codes and things like that for those that are unfamiliar so I'll read the listen it says that warning all keys work on the Xbox console only they cannot be played on PC no idea what to play next grab a random standard xbox game key and get surprised with something awesome this product gives unique cd key which can be activated on xbox platform game quality guarantee every game you are going to get is worth at least $19.99 usd undiscounted retail price refund guarantee did you get a game you already own the seller guarantees that you will receive a refund notice the refund does not apply to games that you have access to through xbox game pass no free games, no DLCs, no game codes, no skins, only full games included. Want to be our lucky customer today? Take your chance to see what fate will bring you. So that sounds pretty enticing, right? So I went ahead and I purchased it this morning. And this is the game that I received. So I received Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. And um, if you look on the Xbox website, you'll notice that this game actually does meet the criteria of $19.99. So when you go on the Xbox website, it was, re it was released in February 22nd, uh, 2016. And the game is $19.99. Now you mentioned, now you, you remember before it said that uh, this does not apply for Game Pass or anything like that. So you, you have Game Pass, the Game Pass Ultimate, uh, EA, Play is actually a part of Game Pass Ultimate. So when you have Game Pass Ultimate, you'll have EA Play and Xbox Game Pass all together. So it's $19.99 without that, but with it, it's free. Now, the reason why, and honestly, I was a little disappointed with this listing, I'm gonna show you why. So when I actually looked up the game itself, I paid $906 for the game. So the game itself is actually $7.59 with G2A Plus. And I say $7.59 because that was the lowest price. But that same seller is selling that same code for $7.87 with G2A Plus. And if you buy it without G2A Plus, it's seven is eight seventy-five. So I did the numbers and you're paying 31 cents more for the game by it being a random key. So you're actually paying more money for the game with the risk of it being a random key. So of course with the lottery, there are overwhelming number of losers and only a couple winners. And honestly, this is probably one of the best case scenarios in that it's not that much of a difference between the two prices. There are some games for Xbox that retail for $19.99 on the website on the Xbox store, but they may be as little as two or three dollars on G2A.com. So me personally, I would not recommend getting this uh, this particular listing or purchasing it because of uh, things like this, is that you pretty much are not able to, uh, you're, you're pretty much paying, paying extra money for it. And then something else, this price of 906 is the same with or without uh, G2A Plus. So there is no um, there is no discount for G2A Plus when, with this. So what I did was I reached out to the seller and I asked them for a refund. And what I did was that um, I said, "Hey, uh, I don't I don't want this. I would like a refund for this. Thanks." They says, uh, "Dear customer, please state the reason why you." you would like a refund best regards I, I said i understand that this is a random key but i do not want the game that i received 
I have not used the key and simply would like a refund, thanks. Dear customer, this is not a reason for a refund. We are sorry, best regards. And then soon after they close the, the, the case out. So personally, I think it's a little shady to be honest with you. Uh, they're basically capitalizing on the differences or the, the inherent, I guess, appeal of it being a random key. Now I'm not saying that uh, they, they don't have keys in here that are better, but personally, it's like, would you really put something in here that's like a new game, knowing that, because uh, <laughs> even new games, they're not gonna be $20 unless it's an indie type of game. And for the most part, those games are gonna probably be a little bit cheaper on G2A.com. So it's pretty, pretty much like, like a marketing scheme. I wouldn't say a scam per se, it's kind of in that gray area where like loot boxes and things like that, random boxes. It's where sometimes you will get the value of what you pay for, but sometimes you won't. And just as I said, there are winners and losers. So what I'm going to do, since I, I, I don't want this, I don't want the game. Uh, I'm not saying there's anything against Garden uh, Warfare 2. I played it when it first came out. It's actually pretty fun. Um, I'm going to give this away. All I'm asking is that this video gets 25 likes. Anybody that's watching the video, if you get it up, up to 25 likes, and all you got to do is leave a comment. I'm going to actually put the instructions in the description box. All you do is just you leave a comment and the pinned comment, and everybody that leaves a pinned comment, I'm going to compile your names. And once it gets to 25 likes, I'm going to. Uh, do a random select and I'm gonna pick a random person and I'm gonna give you this key the key works it's for the United States and uh, you'll be able to play the game so yeah uh, like so in conclusion I don't recommend doing this unless you can risk losing money uh, if you've had experience with these types of uh, listings let me know what you received the seller was not able to send me a refund or I guess they didn't want to do it and they also mentioned that if it comes with Game Pass, and what happens is that you'll be able to um, add the game on Game Pass. It'll say you own it, but it'll work uh, with Game Pass as well. And from my understanding, the way Game Pass works is that you're gonna download the full game to your console anyway. If you own the game, you'll be able to go ahead and play it without the subscription. But, um, only way I would recommend this in any regard is if you plan on uh, buying this for for a child or you're buying it to where it's just a surprise type of thing but as you can see I lost a little bit of money I mean it's not a whole I mean 31 cent is not gonna kill me but it's just the fact that it was a difference in the price and the make something clear it was actually even more of a difference with with uh, having G2A uh, plus because I want to show you that when I had G2A Plus, it's 787. It's actually e even more of a difference. So 906 versus 787. So I paid an extra $1.19 for the same game that I could have just bought from the same seller. So they actually charge you an extra dollar for a game. That's that. Now, when you look at it that way, that is a little shady in my opinion. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think about the video. Um, let me know what your experience was if you did this or if you um, have any questions. Have a blessed day. You take care.